Hi everyone, today we're going to study arc length. Let us draw the x and y axis. Let us have this function y equals f of x represented by this portion of the graph, or we say an arc. The endpoints are when x equals a and b respectively. So the arc length can be computed. Let us have a formal definition. If f is continuously differentiable on the closed interval from a to b, the length l of the curve y equals f of x from a to b is given by this formula, capital L, that is the length, equals the definite integral from A to B. The function is this big radical. So the square root of the quantity 1 plus dy over dx, and this is squared, then dx. Example 1. Find the length of the curve, y equals 1 over 3, the quantity x squared plus 2 is raised to an exponent 3 over 2, from x equals 0 to x equals 3. Let us write our formula of the arc length here to guide us. For step 1, let us find dy over dx, or we say the derivative of the curve. We can see here that the curve or the function is a composite function, and we will apply chain rule. So dy over dx becomes 1 over 3 times 3 over 2 times the quantity x squared plus 2 raised to 1 half times derivative of x squared is 2x. We can simplify this expression by canceling some terms. This 3 and 3 can be canceled out. This number 2 and that number 2 here can be canceled out. Then simplifying, we have now x times the quantity x squared plus 2 is raised to 1 half. Now step 2, find the square of dy over dx. Looking at our formula, we are going to find this value here. So we will take the answer from step 1 and we will square it and it's here. Simplifying this now, we will have x square times the quantity x square plus 2. Then step 3. Let us find the square root of the quantity 1 plus the square of dy over dx. Looking at our formula, we are going to find this whole radical here. Let us substitute the answer from step 2 on this expression here. So we have the square root of 1, we copy it here, plus the square of dy over dx. That is from step 2. And we write here x squared times the quantity x squared plus 2. Let us simplify this product and rearrange the terms. So we have the square root of x raised to 4 plus 2 x squared plus 1. We can see that the integrand or the trinomial can be factored into the square of x squared plus 1. Then we can cancel the radical and the exponent 2. So the final answer for step 3 is x squared plus 1. Now step 4, we will now find the length. Using our formula, and we will now substitute the corresponding values. So we have now capital L equals 
the definite integral from 0 to 3. This big radical, we can now use the answer from step 3. So we have the quantity x squared plus 1 dx. Then let us integrate. The integral of x squared becomes x cubed over 3 plus integral of 1 is x to be evaluated from 0 to 3. So we have now this 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 minus the second group 0 cubed over 3 plus 0. In the second group, because of the zeros, we can cancel all of this. Then let us simplify the first group. And the final answer will be 12 units. This is the arc length. This is the final answer. Example 2. Find the length of the curve. y equals 4 square root of 2 all over 3 times x raised to 3 over 2 minus 1. x here is between 0 and 1. Let us write the formula of the length. Then step 1, let us find dy over dx. So the derivative of the curve is 4 square root of 2 over 3. That is the constant here. Multiplied by 3 over 2. Then times x raised to 1 half. 3 over 2 minus 1. That's why we write 1 half. We can cancel this 3 and 3 and this number 2 and the number 4. Simplifying further, we will write now 2 square root of 2 times x raised to 1 half. Now, step 2, find the square of dy over dx. So we are going to find the value of this part of the formula. So the square of dy over dx is this, and we can simplify this further into 8x. Now step 3. Let us find the radical itself. That 1 plus the square of dy over dx. This value here is what we derived from step 2. So substituting now, we have the square root of this number 1, we copy here, plus the square of dy over dx is this 8x. Let's go now to step 4 to find the length. This is our formula and let us substitute the corresponding values. Capital L equals the definite integral from 0 to 1. Then let us take the answer from step 3 and dx. Let us now integrate. By substitution method, we will set u equals 1 plus 8x. So du equals 8dx. And dx is equal to du over 8. Now let us substitute in the formula. L equals the definite integral from 0 to 1 the square root of u times du over 8. Let us move the number 8 or the constant outside the integral sign. So we have 1 over 8, the definite integral from 0 to 1. The square root of u we will now write as rational exponent u raised to 1 half, then du. By integration, we will get 1 over 8 times u raised to 3 over 2 all over 3 over 2. Simplifying further, we will write 1 over 8 times 2 over 3 times u raised to 3 over 2. Let us simplify the fractions and for the u, let us replace the original value with respect to x. So we have 1 over 12 times 
1 plus 8x raised to 3 over 2 to be evaluated with the limits of integration from 0 to 1. So we have 1 over 12 times the first group, 1 plus 8 times 1. All these to be raised to 3 over 2 minus the second group, 1 plus 8 times 0, all raised to 3 over 2. We can simplify the first group into 9 raised to 3 over 2 minus the second group can be simplified into 1 raised to 3 over 2. This 9 raised to 3 over 2 can be simplified into 27 minus 1 raised to 3 over 2 is simplified into 1. 27 minus 1 is 26 all over this 1 over 12 you write here 12. And this 26 over 12 is simplified into 13 over 6 units. This is the arc length. This is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.